This car is so freaking beautiful. I'm so pumped with how this thing turned out. This is my brother Cameron's car for those of you who are new to the channel. This is the car, this is the build we did for him when he was in the hospital for his very last chemotherapy treatment. It turned out so sick. We are gonna be doing some more mods on this car. I think we're gonna do an STI wing on it, which everyone wanted to see, which I think is gonna look really, really nice. Um, he ended up ripping off his front lip, so we got to get him a new lip for the car. And we kind of want to do the rest of the exhaust system, an intake, and probably EBCS, a boost controller, and a tune as well. And this thing would be pretty fun. It's pretty fun as is, and it looks absolutely amazing. As you can see, it looks so sick. But I think adding an STI wing to that car would make it look that much better. Anyways, guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. What we're doing today is fixing a few things on the STI. I cannot stand. I currently do have some of the seats out of the car. I pressure washed them, which I don't know if it's a good idea or not because I don't know how long it's going to take to dry. It's not that warm out here in Spokane. It's like 60 degrees maybe right now. And I ended up pressure washing the seat because there's a few stains on it. I cannot get out with anything else. So let's hope it dries soon. I don't know, it's probably going to take a while. But what we're doing on the STI is fixing a few things I cannot stand. The very first thing is the seatbelt squeak. When you pull on the seatbelts, it squeaks. Let me show you. So there is that. It is a very, very easy fix. I'll show you how to go about that here in a second. We have this. Which I don't know what is going on there. A few people commented saying there is a, a little clip that the headlight clips into. Maybe that clip is missing. Um, either way, I'll, I'll pull off the bumper, I'll pull off the headlight. A and see what's going on there and we have the typical Subaru STI rear strut clunk I can't really show you guys but if you own I think it's 04 to 07 STIs have this problem you know exactly what I'm talking about you're driving down the road you'll hit a little bump and you'll feel a really gnarly clunk you'll hear it and you'll feel it it's like this is the rear shuts are sticking it's a very very common problem on on STIs so we're gonna be fixing that I think that might be it what else are we fixing I don't know I did finally figure out the ABS issue guys um, I did a bunch of checking on the car and I traced it all the way back to being a rear ABS sensor issue, but the sensor on the car is fine. I checked the sensor, I checked the ohms, and I checked the voltage. There's a, a few tests on the sensors you can do, and th they were fine, so I was completely stumped. I ended up pulling off the brake rotor and noticed the ABS ring is broken in half, so I ended up ordering a new ABS ring, so that should be in soon. The reason it took me so long to figure that out is because we're having three total codes. Two of the codes were because they pulled out the ABS fuse and the ABS relay. So I got both of those in and then there was just the one code for the rear sensor. So we got that all figured out. But yeah, guys, let's get to work. The first thing we are going to do is that seatbelt squeak. It is so freaking annoying. It makes you never want to wear a seatbelt. So I'll show you guys how to go about fixing that. It's pretty simple. Every Subaru, I think every 02 to 07 WRX or STI has this problem. So if you have any of those and you want to fix that squeak, Follow along. Pull off this lower pillar down here. If you open up the back door, there is a clip right here. Pull off this clip. You'll have to pop up these panels right here. So once you get this guy off, you will see exactly what you need to do. There are those three ribs on the back side, and what happens is that seatbelt rubs on those little ribs right there. So I'm just gonna grab a knife and trim those things off, and that fixes that seatbelt squeaking issue. That is all finished up. That's what it should look like when it's all done. Let's go ahead and throw it back on the car and make sure that actually fixed the problem. Look at that guys. No more squeak. When you're all finished up with that, make sure you put this little clip back in to here. Dope. I am going to bust out the passenger side real quick and then we can move on to that, that issue. Okay, next up is this little issue. I wish I could pull this headlight off without pulling off the bumper, but on this car, you have to pull the bumper off too, which is a pain because I have all the OEM clips in here. So let's rip this bumper off, pull the headlight off, and hopefully it is just that little tab. It's like right about here, there's a little clip. There's a tab on the headlight and it clips into the bumper. If that's missing, it'll be metal on metal, which would make sense as to why it is making that noise.
So you see how I took off the headlight and now it doesn't make that noise. There is a clip that goes right there and a clip that goes there. They're both missing, but I think I may have those clips on my old fender. Let's go run out back and take a look. Yeah, I do. Both clips are on here. Heck yeah. These are the guys we need. So that was a pretty easy fix. Both of the things we fixed so far have been super, super easy. Today's video is sponsored by E1 Racing. When they first hit me up to do a review on this chair, I was super, super skeptical. But as soon as I opened it up and pulled it out of the box, I knew I was in for a good treat. So this thing's pretty dope, guys, honestly. Damn. Dude, that's like my Brom seats. Wanna try it out? Fresh. Dude, sit in yeah. that thing. Give it a shot. Oh. You feeling all right, bro? I'm good. <laughs> I mean, I'm on drugs right now, but. <laughs> That's that's pretty spinny. That's smooth. Yeah, for real. Does it go up and down too. It does. Dude. It does have this padding on the back. I think I may take off. I don't know. What do you think? I like the back little. You like that one down there? One part. I gave it a nine out of ten. He, camera's not even paid. He's not getting paid, or he doesn't have this chair to promote. That's his yeah. honest opinion. Nine out of ten. I, I sit in a chair all day long, and this thing is like, yeah, good. Good support, better than my Costco chair, that's for sure. Rip Costco. I will have this computer chair linked down in the description box below, along with my discount code to save you guys a fat chunk of money on this chair. Go check it out. I know a bunch of you guys have been wanting to see Cameron on the channel. Here he is. He just got some sort of surgery today. What you want? What, what'd you do? Yeah, I got neck surgery. So I have a, uh, I have a port put in like right near my collarbone, and then they put a line in like through my neck and down to my heart. So this is like a uh, intake port pretty much. Oh yeah. Just like straight direct, direct, direct injection. Direct injection <laughs> to the heart. So That's sick. just some treatment stuff, but yeah. Yeah, dude, check out this hair. Dude, it's coming strong. Pretty, pretty fresh. Beard games catch yeah. up to mine. <laughs> I know, I had to shave it all off. It was a, like a porn star stash, but. Damn. Yeah. Well, if you guys are wondering why Cameron doesn't upload that much, this is why. He's always going through like random stuff at the hospital. So I feel like every single day he's there for something, but. He still is on the grind. Go check him out. He does crazy stuff with their bikes. I'll have his channel linked up in the top right hand corner. Let's get back to working on the STI. As far as the strut clunk goes, this is gonna be a bit longer of a process. I've never personally done this before. I did a bunch of reading online and it seems pretty straightforward to do. You gotta pull the wheels off, pull the struts off, take the strut shaft out, and then we're gonna be drilling the bottom of the strut throwing a grease circ in there, packing the strut full of grease, and then assembling the strut, putting it back on the car, and hoping that fixes the problem. I wish I could show you guys how bad it is, but it's kind of hard to show you because we're not driving the car. So let's get to work, guys. It should be pretty straightforward. Now that the strut is out of the car, we need to disassemble it. So the first thing we're gonna do is pull off this 17 millimeter nut up on top, and then that is gonna remove the top hat. We can slide the spring off and the dust boot off, and then we're gonna flip it around and pull off this 14 millimeter nut on the bottom. And that will allow the shaft to come out of this lower housing. All right, so this guy right here is what we will be messing around with. There is literally no grease in there. Let's see if I can get it to focus inside that thing somehow. Yeah, either way, you guys will see when you pull yours apart if you end up doing this mod, there is like no grease at all whatsoever inside this thing. So I'm sure that is why it is clunking so bad, but we are going to drill it right here and throw a grease circuit in there so we can grease this thing while it's still on the car and not have to take anything off. I'm gonna be putting my grease circ right here. Honestly guys, I am going off of this form on, or the strut on Nasio called STI Rear Strut Inspection and Greasing or something like that. Go check out that thread. He puts his grease circ right 
literally right here. So you should be able to still access it while everything's still on the car. These here are the grease jerks I'm using. They're a quarter 20 thread, a uh, taper thread. So they get tighter as you tighten them with a 45 degree angle on them. So I'm gonna drill a shred out and then tap it with a quarter 28 tap and we can thread one of these guys in. All right, guys, that is what it should look like all said and done. I'm gonna go get all of the metal shavings out of this thing, get it all cleaned up, and then we can throw some grease in it, reassemble the thing, and then really, really pack it full of grease using our grease gun and our new grease fitting right here. We got the strut all cleaned up. I'm going to throw some grease in the strut right now before we put the shaft back in. And then as soon as we get the shaft in and get that bottom nut back on, we can fill this whole thing up with grease, with a grease gun. So you'll put grease in it until you'll, you'll feel it get really, really stiff. And then that means that whole chamber, it's like a four inch chamber in, in between two seals. That means that chamber is full of grease and you should be fine. So pop the grease gun off, clean it up a little bit. This strut will be ready to go back on the car. We gotta throw the spring on first, tighten this bottom nut, and then throw the strut back on the car. All right, my friends, this strut is done. As you can see, when it is on the car, this grease circ right here will be facing out. So we have really, really easy access to re-greasing the strut. I don't know how long this grease is gonna last in here before we need to throw more grease in. It should be a few thousand miles, I think. I'm gonna guess at least like 20,000 miles before you have to re-grease it. But I don't know, because I've never done this before. That is how you go about it. I'm gonna get the other side done, and then we can go on a drive and make sure this actually fixes the problem. All right guys, the car's all finished up. Let's go on a drive and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully that rear strut clunk is gone because that took a lot of work to get those grease zerks in there. So the times it would be the most evident would be like cruising around like this and then you'd come to a stop. So the car would kind of like lean forward like that a little bit. And then when it settles back down, you'd hear it like clunk like that. So I'm gonna try that right now. That same exact thing and see what happens. And then sometimes when you would start going again, it would settle the back end down and like clunk back. Nothing at all. I, I'm sure that grease hasn't even worked in all the areas yet and this thing's not clunking at all. So that's pretty, that's super, super nice. That's like one of the main complaints I had with this car was that rear strut clunk. And I still have that rear seat pretty much all the way out. I have the upper part in, but the lower part out. So I think if it was the clunk, I would hear it a lot more right now because the seat is out of the car. But yeah, that's sick. I'm super, super hyped. Damn, that's sick. I've never seen an STI, an older STI right next to a newer one or newer WRX, same thing. Look how much bigger the WRX is, the 2015 or 16. This is a 16, this is 04. The thing is like five times the size, that is crazy. <laughs> Go down in the comment section below. What car, what style do you like better? The 04 to 07 or the 15 and newer? I think I, I honestly, it's going to make a lot of people sad, but I think I like this style better. It's so clean looking. That's so sick. If you have an 02 to 07 WRX or STI or an Impreza, do that seatbelt mod that I just did on this car. If you have an 04 to 07 STI, please, please, please do yourself a favor and do the rear shot mod. Complete, complete game changer. That is gonna be it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If it helped you out, go down below, smash that thumbs up button. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out. I'll see you guys tomorrow.